Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on derivation of subject level population flags which are commonly used in ADSL. So in the earlier videos of this series, we have seen how to derive screen failure population flag, randomized population flag, safety population flag and full analysis set population flag. In this video, we will see how to derive per protocol flag which is pprotfl. So let us take a look at the derivation algorithm provided to us. It says create this flag using the data collected in EX, LB and DV data set. So which means three HDTM data sets are directly or indirectly contributing to this variable's derivation. And it also says a subject would be considered under per protocol analysis set only if the subject meets all the criteria for full analysis set, which means all the conditions which we have used for full analysis sets have to be met and then meets none of the protocol specified deviation which means the subject should not have any protocol specified deviations and it also says a subject's protocol deviations are collected in dv data set so deviations for a subjects from the protocol are collected in dv data set so to consider under per protocol set the subject should not have a record in dv data set because if subject has deviated once or more the, there will be one or more records in DV dataset for that subject. If a subject is not present in DV dataset, that means the subject has met all the protocol specified conditions and does not have any deviations. So we'll have to check for the absence of a record in DV and also check for the FASFL because it includes that all the conditions which are derived for which are used for FASFL have to be met. So we can simply use FASFL is equal to Y and then check for the absence of per protocol uh, deviations in protocol deviations data set and then populate as Y. For other subjects we can populate it as N. So let us manually try to identify the subjects who will classify for per protocol flag as Y and who will be N. So base data set for any uh, ADSL data set will be SGTM demographics data set. And as part of this video series, we have seen screen failure flag, randomized flag, safety flag and FASFL flag. So we have also seen in the specification that per protocol flag is directly or indirectly related on FASFL. So all the subjects who met FASFL can only be considered for per protocol. So let us go ahead and filter for only those subjects who are FASFL is equal to Y. Out of these two subjects, we'll have to check whether a subject qualifies for per protocol flag or not based on the presence or absence of a record in deviations data set. If a record is present in deviations data set, then that subject will not qualify for per protocol flag and otherwise the subject qualifies. So let us take a look at the subject 1002 who is a full safety set subject and then C. So let's see if there are any filters. There are no filters. So which means there is only one record in the deviations data set which we have. So it says uh, that one record corresponds to subject 1005. There is no deviation for subject 1002 and the subject is also a full analysis set subject. So this subject qualifies for per protocol subject. So far we were seeing the cases where we checked for the presence of a record which is but per, for this per protocol flag we are seeing a scenario which is opposite. The absence of a record is being considered for Y. So let us take a look at the data for 1005 in DV. So we have seen that there was only one record in DV and that was for subject 1005. So this means this subject had a protocol deviation. So though the subject qualified for full analysis set but because of the presence of a record in DV data set we cannot consider this subject as per protocol flag as Y. So this subject would be N. So all the other subjects who are not even like uh, FASFL is equal to Y will by default be N. So, so we only have one protocol per protocol subject in this example data we are looking at. So now let us take a look at the programming approach that can be used to derive this. So as part of earlier videos in this uh, video series, I have created some of the variables and I'm making use of the same data sets. So we have seen till this step 
of FASFL is equal to Y derivation in the previous videos. So now the additional condition that new we need to check is for the absence of a record in protocol deviations. So we will now see how that can be done. So here we are just uh, trying to apply a node up key on DV dataset. Why we are applying node up key is that a subject can have one or more protocol deviations in DV dataset. So all that we need is to identify whether a subject has at least one deviation or not. So we can just keep one record per use of JD so that we can do a one to one merge with our DM dataset. So what will happen even if a subject has more than one deviation, we will get one record per that use of JD. And then we are merging it with our DM dataset along with some other dataset which we have derived previously. And we have identified the subjects who are coming from DV dataset using a temporary variable named I. So if a subject is coming from DV01, for that subject I would be 1 or true. So if we are to check for the absence of a record, we need to check for not I, which means if a subject is FASF is equal to Y, but that subject is not present in DV01. So we are checking for this condition not I, this indirectly gets translated into there is no record for that subject in DV01 which in turn means that there is no protocol deviation. So for all those subjects we are populating P prot FL with a value of Y and for everyone else we are populating it with a value of N. So this is how, let, let's execute this code and then see if we are getting the flag only populated for so DV01 is not there. Let me try to get that into there was a minor issue in the work data sets that uh, all the temporary data that I have created in the previous videos have been deleted so I have just updated that and recreated all those data sets. Now let us try to rerun this piece of code. So if we take a look at the ADSL data set we should only have one subject with per protocol flag as Y based on our manual understanding so and that was for subject 1002. Let us cross check it with our manual data and then see. Yes, there was only one subject who met per protocol flag condition and that was subject 1002. So it is the same subject here. So this is how we can derive per protocol analysis set flag whenever required in ADSL data set.